Hi everyone, it's Deb from Frog Cottage Designs. It's been a month since my last floss tube. Today is hmm, Wednesday the 7th of October. It's my mummy's birthday. I have to remember to ring her later. Um, life has just been hectic and I was just about to get up and go and do some more gardening and I thought if I don't do this floss tube, I will never do it. Um, my husband's been away um, six weeks. He came home yesterday and in that time um, I have had the whole house painted or all, all the living areas, bathroom sort of areas painted. Um, I've had all outside, trees cut down, bushes thing owed. I've had um, retaining walls put in. Um, we've got a nice little trellis pond with four ponds that's always leaked for years. Finally got that fixed and um, it's just gorgeous. What I'll do at the end, I might just put some photos. I look like crap, but I just thought, <laughs> I'm so tired, but I just thought, oh, if I don't get it done, I haven't been doing a lot of stitching. I have been doing a lot of secret stitching, which I finally finished, but I can't show you yet. Um, yeah, so I've only been doing a little bit of stitching. I have been working on um, a quilt planner, uh, mainly for myself. I do use the 24 hours of cross stitch, um, cross stitch planner, but I find um, I don't use all the spaces on, on the worksheet. So I've just designed my own and condensed that down. And I bought some stuff from Happy, Happy Planner. Um, been watching two martini stitcher and um, she has all her stuff in a happy planner and when I actually bought the pieces I had the little discs and I thought oh, what do you do with these so I had to YouTube to find out how I actually put it all together but that's okay I'll show you that a bit later so I've had three finishes um, one fully finished, which I can't show you, maybe in a in a little while. Um, yeah, so I'll start with those. And do you think I put them in order? No. My husband's gone to the tip and um, I said to him, oh, while you're gone, I'll quickly do a quick floss tube. So this one's called... Um, Happy Halloween. I'm not sure what other thing I've called it. Happy Hollow or something. But this is here. Can you see? That's on Murky. I think it's 32. Um, this is my own design. And um, yeah, so I think I'll just put that in a little pillow or something. I think it's 32. I did order a 28. And oh, I lied. It's 32. Yeah. No wonder it was so, um, I thought it was a bit tight, but anyway. And I do love this murky. So I finished that one and I'll put them on my website in a little while as PDFs. And I like the idea of the dough ball, uh, dough bowl, sorry. So um, I've designed a little uh, Quaker uh, pillow, I suppose. I was thinking of, and I call that Bee Quaker. So it's a, just a cute little one. And I was thinking of finishing it as a, a pin cushion, you know, put the material over here. And But anyway, maybe by the next floss tube I'll have that finished. So that's what I've sort of been working on. I haven't had a lot of time for stitching, as I said. Um, life's been pretty hectic. And with my husband away, it's left me with the three kids. And um, we had some eventful issues with school and all that sort of stuff. But my um, youngest daughter and her boyfriend came four weekends in a row or midweek if when they could because they're both uh, in year 12. And um, they helped cut down trees and help with the landscaping and um mowing and whippers brush cutting and doing the ponds so so at night i was too tired to stitch but what i did do i've been working um just on my halloweeny type stitcheries in september i was going to do the 
what was it, sale September, um, all the stitch alongs, and I listed all my stitch alongs, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I touched three. So, and that was it. So there wasn't even much progress on that to show, but I'll show you what I've done. I've worked on Halloween Quaker, and this is on um, a 28 Murky. And this is the one everybody's doing at the moment. So I just did some more of the main motif in the, in the beginning. So that was good. And I haven't got the pictures, they're on my iPad, which wants a passcode. One I pulled out that I haven't done for a while is Halloween Rules. And I think it's called 12 Sal Stitch Along. Something. Sorry, my notes from before. No, I didn't write it down. 12 months of Halloween or something, but I'll put it down below. So, still working on Sit for a Spell. Sorry, it's a bit. I finished the border, the words, and just started on the little pussy cat. So, um, one, two, three, four, five. I've still got a bit to go on that. Maybe next Halloween. favorite which I don't pull out very often which is the linen and threads stitch along and I did a little bit at the bottom did I yeah at the bottom so I think that's March I thought I was up to April but it was only March and I was Hoping to get a lot of my stitch alongs done in September, but that didn't work out. What else did we do? Who are you? Oh. I pulled this out. This was, um, what's this one called? The key. Remember the key? The Be Well and Stitch? Well, I started the light. Sorry, I'm just, um, I've started something else there, but I don't know what I'm stitching there. And, um, hmm, the only thing that's in here is the light, so I don't know what I was doing there. But um, I think I did one more of the little berry. I didn't do very much. But it's such a gorgeous piece that uh, I'd like to finish that and have the um, the key and the light done together. And I will show you a picture of that since I have one in there. So that was part of the Be Well and Stitch movement on Instagram and it's by Barbara Anna. And both this one, the light, and the other, the bird, the key, are free. I think it's um, the link is in her profile. one um, I might be able to show you this one I just give me a second what's it called uh, which is familiars that's it oh, I've only um, oh is that the pattern I bet you now that I've done this I'm not, I don't have the main picture. Oh, we do. Okay, so we'll blow that up a bit. So this is Kaluna Bright, Brightburn's catalogue for Witches Familiars. It's by Ingleside Imaginarium, and they're on Etsy. And every month you get um, a Witches Familiar. Now, I think she's, yeah, there's like 10 there now. But um, I've just been working on the frame. And I'm doing this on a 28 count Stormy Grey Joblin. And that's where I'm up to. Hmm. One thing, normally I stitch at night to like um, 11.30 or 12. And I start stitching 
maybe about 8.30. So usually I get a lot of stitching done unless I'm watching subtitle movies and it makes it really hard. But um, I am going to bed at 9 o'clock, 9.30. What is wrong with me? So <laughs> all my stitching time is just gone. Now the husband's back. Hopefully um, I'll get back into routine again. Now here's a new one that I started. And this is um, the Adams Family Stitch Along. And it's, oh, hold on. I can probably show you a pic, but it's not very good. It's not very good, but that's just a pic of, um, I got off the Etsy so far when I first signed up. So at the moment, all the rooms are done. There's a big tree, there's a graveyard, um, Fester's there. But this is finished now, and who, this is by, oh, I did it the other day. Oh, I can't remember, aren't I slack? What I'll do is I'll put it down below with a link. But they finished the other day with Morticia, the last room, and it's just gorgeous. She's in her, what do you call that, um, room? Oh, I can't think conservatorium where it's got all the plants and everything so she's there in her element so I started stitching this and that's all I got to so far and then yesterday I pulled it out to stitch as my friend Chrissy came over and hi Miss Lily she said to me make your floss tube and say hello to me and to Trey and to all the kids um when I looked at it, I thought, oh, I've started it the wrong way. So I measured it and I've bought the wrong size. It is too short. This is enough for the um, actual, just the stitching. So I got onto the Sew It All Australia. Um, they're up in the North Coast and they have a lot of um, nice fabrics. So I actually found the same fabric and I've bought a larger piece. So when that comes, um, I'll get, I'll have to restart. Story of my life. So, um, yeah, so that's all I've been stitching on. Um, I'm still having a dilemma on um, storing all my flosses while I stitch. One of these ones I've got, um, I've got the little sleeve uh, where you pop your DMC in and that's okay but you know if you have a look at the Adams family there's over a hundred um, colors and I haven't wound all the flosses I don't want to wind all the flosses so part of my planner is I made myself oh sorry put that away and that away I've made myself some little floss, floss drop cards. And I've just put it on cardstock. So I've just done a template. And what I'll do is, now my husband's home, I'll go to my sewing room. I've got a brother scan and cut. So I'll cut them out and see. This might be a bit flimsy, but I'm, I'm sure all the others are a, a bit... They're not really... No, they're not very strong either, so... I'll cut them out and I thought I'll put all my DMC on these, but on one of those big rings. Because I have gone and I bought all the floss away bags and that's worked out okay. But it's a little bit of a bitch sometimes to open them up, put the other part back. Do I put the excess on the other side or do I just wrap it up, put it in the bag? Too many decisions. So... I thought um, what I'll do is I'll cut them out and see how they go because I've got Adam's Family, the Chopping Mall, the Universal Monster. Now they all have, I think, a oh, minimum of 60 colours. So, um, yeah, I just need to be a bit more organised on my floss. I'm okay on my... Um, the hand dyed ones, but the DMC, I am not. I've already on to box three. I'm, 
I'm not winding more. And I was surprised, as I said, I'm on box three and yet all these colors, I still had to buy another 60 or 80 of those. So, um, <sighs> yes, poor Deb is very tired. But yeah, so I'll show you my um, planner thing. What I've, oh, what I've done, I'll take one of these off. Ooh. On a site, I did look at Amazon and they didn't have a lot of the Happy Planner or it would have taken till the end of October to get here. Anything I've bought from overseas, it's taken a minimum of six weeks. Um, I've got an order in for the website that's been in since I think late October, late August or mid August. And where was it? I think the last time was the 15th of September, it was in Hong Kong. Don't ask me why I went to Hong Kong, but a lot of my American orders are either going to Hong Kong or Japan before they come to Australia. So, um, yeah, so we're still waiting for that. But, yeah, so I found a place in Australia and I bought the covers, the laminated covers for my planner, nice and bright. And I think I bought a pack of three for $16 because I was just going to um, laminate my own covers. But I thought, no, nah, that's good. And then I saw the discs. And I thought, oh, I better get an extra large because, you know, this planner, the 24 hours cross-stitch planner is quite thick. And then I thought, yeah, get the big one. So when you buy them, they look like this. When they arrive, they look like this. And I thought, what do you do with those? How, how are they supposed to... Um, you know, hold all my paper. So what it is, if I take some off, I'm not sure if you can see, the little punch is like a little umbrella. So what they do is they just clip onto them. Yeah, so I YouTube that and found out how to put it together. So um, I still think it's a bit big, but I might buy some smaller ones. So what I did was I had a look See, I usually do the 24 hours across stitch and I just record all of those. But, oh, what's that one? That was August. So you can tell that was the last time I wrote anything down. <laughs> and I've got July. And then I can see for Floss Tube what I've done, whether I've been productive or not. So I just went through and I made my own. So I've done a weekly uh, plan where I've just done the days of the week and five spaces. I very rarely work on five things in a day, but um, I'm going to try and put at least, um, I think somebody was doing 200 on a project each day or something. Anyway, I stitch for a couple of hours normally, so I thought that was achievable. So I've just got a blank and then I just have my new starts and finishes because I'm optimistic. <laughs> so I've done that one. I've got a couple of those done. I haven't written anything out. And this all came apart um, because I, I record my projects and I recorded them in the um, cross-stitch planner from Fat Quarter Shop. But I've already done my 50 and I've got no... If I buy from over there, I'm going to wait eight weeks or something and I thought oh what are you doing just make your own so now I've done my own project file where I've just done my starts start date finish stitch count all the stuff you'll find in there but I've just done a basic one for myself and I've just had two on the page so I'll list all those I printed off a lot of those because you know I've done a lot of starts that I haven't been in there the book, oh, must have printed. Oh, I'm still going. I must have printed heaps. Yeah. Then the next one is I do like um, the monthly over overview so I know what I've done. So I've just got the whips, the sounds, hashtags to remember, the focus piece, my haul, new starts, finishes, and notes. And that'll also help for my floss tube. So I've got those. And he did, oh, he did two of those. Now, one thing we all need is a whip list. And I think I've printed three pages. 
but um, I've put the hashtag on because I always forget when I actually do my um, posts on Instagram, I usually can't remember the hashtags, what they come under. So that's why I've got that one. And then usually the first of the month, I go to all my websites to get my sales. And I can never remember like the Harry Potter, Letters from Hogwarts, um, a bi-monthly where the um, uh, linen and threads are monthly and what, what was the other, the witch's familiar and things like that. So I've done a sale tracker. So it just lives start, but it tells me what day. So I can tick off when I have to go and um, download or when the email comes in. Usually the witch's familiar's um, email goes in like my junk mail and I've got to search the, oh, I better go and find that before it deletes. So I've done that one. And what I might do, um, is my when I finish this put on the website just for a couple of dollars and um, yeah if anybody wants to buy them they can one thing I needed was a fabric inventory because my nice purpley turquoise um, fabric for what's that one for Adam's family I can't remember what it's called so put this down Usually I have one bag with all my fabrics, um, my big stitching with a housewife bag. It's all full of fabrics. So I'll write them down so I know, keep a track on what I've got. Also, normally when I kit things up, um, I buy the fabric, I put them in one of the Ziploc bags or one of the bags, you know, one of my um, bags I've made and then I put it on my in tray. <laughs> so when I get... Um, threads in I know where they go but half the time now I buy the threads I think what projects that on so what I've done is I've done a kitted chart list so I can just write down all the ones that um, I'm preparing or kitting what I'm waiting for or what I have to buy so it's just easier for me um, at the moment I've got, um, what's this one? See, I just have it sitting there in a bag waiting. What's that one? That's Country Mocha. Country Mocha. Ooh, it's huge because on the 31st, oh, it's really big. On the 31st of October, I'm going to uh, join in with Darvaline Studio. <laughs> sorry, Nicole. Um, her stitch along, which I'll put down below. I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, for the Hawk Run Hollow Halloween. So I'm going to start that. But at the moment, I ordered my pattern from the wholesaler and I'm praying that it's here by the 31st because I need to buy all the threads. I've looked at 123 Stitch to see if they had a list of all the threads and... They don't, so I'm wa eagerly waiting on that one so I can buy my threads. So, and the only other thing I ha had was a chart inventory. And I buy a lot of um, Etsy charts, PDFs. I've seen things in magazines that I wanna stitch. So this isn't my full chart inventory, but these are the ones that I've bought that I'd like to stitch. I know we all buy to want to stitch everything, but this is just my realistic stitch. Just so um, I know where I've got it fully kitted or I need to kit it or what I need. So that's my little chart. So yeah, so they're all, that's what I've been doing the past um, month. Um, my little granddaughter, Miss Lily, is um, still as her bug. She's on a months long, she was on a months long, um, what do you call it, dose of antibiotics. Um, she went and saw the infectious diseases people out at uh, Westmead Children's Hospital, which is a big hospital in um, Sydney. And she had some blood in her stool again. So they've actually now put her on three month course. And what... 
what it's happened is when she was little, she was only a couple of weeks old and she got this bug and they gave her antibiotics. Now, what that did was upset her bacteria makeup in her bowel, in her body. And it's damned if you do, damned if you don't. She was quite sick, so they had to give her the antibiotics. But um, what it's done is um, it's hard for her body to get rid of this bug. So now they're giving her three months. Dose. like she's happy she's putting on weight she's meeting milestones all of that thing but um it means that unless this bug is clear she can't go to daycare not that she's going anytime soon it means that i still um don't get to hold her um maybe a quick hold and that's it because they um we don't want to pass her to pass the bug to me, then me to reinfect her, which was what happened with her mum. So, um, yeah, it's quite sad, but um, it's not getting her down. And she's thriving. And she went for a big photo shoot um, on the weekend, which she was gifted when she was a newborn, but unable to um, have. So... My daughter's going today to um, get those picks, pick them up. So if they're in time, I might be able to slide one through. So, um, yeah, so that's all that I've been doing. Um, I'll get back to my normal stitching um, routine now that the hubby's back. Hopefully, um, yeah, I think life will just slow down a bit and I'll be able to enjoy my stitching again So and have more to show you. So um, that's about it from me. Um, I didn't think this would be a, a long floss tube, but it's only half an hour. But yeah, so thanks everybody for the new subscribers. If you um, like my floss tube, please subscribe, like the video. Um, yeah, that's about it. So um, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you're happy and safe and happy stitching. Bye. I'm joining in with Darwin Lee Design Studios um, Spook October sale. And what it is, is you can stitch anything you want for the month of October, um, as long as it's spooky, Halloween, that type of thing. Um, and the hashtag is DDS Spook October. So if you want to join in, oh, hello dog, her husband's home. If you want to join in, I'll put uh, the links down below.